the carnivore diet is um, increasing in popularity and there's a reason for that it's um, eating meat is good for your health um, it provides you with healthy fats and it's good for your testosterone now often when you consider a carnivore diet you would naturally be inclined to think that every time you sit down you are eating meat and only meat um, often when you see content relating to the carnivore diet you've got pictures of sizzling steaks usually it's more more often than not it's red meats and this can give a false sense of what you should really be doing now carnivore diets are extremely beneficial there's a shitload of scientific research to back this up the health benefits of eating meat now this is just my opinion and i'm not a professional nutritionalist in any way i'm i have a little nutritional knowledge mainly for the up, upkeep of my own body but it's more beneficial carnivore there's nothing wrong with carnivore now what i do is most of my meals when i sit down to eat a meal there will be meat animal products or fish on my plate but carnivore will be more beneficial to you if you include fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, fish and other bits and pieces into your diet as well. Sure, eat meat at every meal. This is no bad thing. It's actually a good thing to do, really. Now, for long term testosterone maintenance in particular, one thing to be particularly aware of with following a carnivore diet is inflammation if you are consuming a lot of red meat on a regular basis then this can have an inflammatory effect so it's a good idea that when you're observing carnivore to also include white meats or fish is meat as well in a way and it's a good thing to include in any carnivore diet white meats like chicken turkey and rabbit uh, now the reason for this is because omega-6 fatty acids which are typically found in red meats are inflammatory and omega-3 which are found in particularly high amounts in fish for example are anti-inflammatory now i have what i call the omega ratio it's a ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. Now, I always observe approximately three parts omega-6 to one part omega-3. This is balanced out. It's optimised for testosterone and it decreases the chance of any inflammation. You should not be, you should avoid exceeding a ratio of four to one four parts omega-6 to one part omega-3 this omega ratio this anti-inflammatory aspect of your diet is very important especially for long-term maintenance of testosterone levels sure eating nothing but red meat has been shown to increase testosterone levels increase energy people report feeling much better after observing a month even just a month of this diet and you know it's all true but in the long term this could lead to inflammation it's not guaranteed but it's it will, it will increase the risk of inflammation if you become inflamed this can cause the age-related testosterone decline to happen sooner so it's just something to be aware of carnivore is no bad thing if you're doing carnivore keep doing what you're doing because it is a good thing and it's good for your testosterone levels if you want to optimize your testosterone levels and keep them optimized into older age subscribe to this channel and follow this series